please turn your sound on to hear full explanations of our answers. Thank you. The question is, what are some good ways to cope with tinnitus? And the answer is by attacking the cofactors. Now, what do I mean by cofactors? Uh, the, the primary cause of tinnitus is damage to your hearing. It's to the hair cells in your ear, uh, which are contained inside a, an organ that looks like a snail, uh, a snail shell uh, called a cochlea. And when those uh, hair cells in there get damaged, um, that's it. You don't you don't renew them. Your body doesn't renew them in any way. So to have tinnitus, you need to have hearing loss. But having said that, not everybody with hearing loss also has tinnitus. So it means that there are several other cofactors also involved. And uh, you know, we're uh, doctors are understanding more and more about uh, tinnitus every year. Um, but they still don't have a full understanding. But what we do know is that there are these many cofactors, and you can definitely deal with them. So, uh, for example, uh, there are things in your diet uh, you should avoid. Um, uh, salt and uh, high levels of sodium in food can aggravate your tinnitus. A huge area that you can attack is uh, there are foods that contain uh, various levels of a naturally occurring substance called salicylic acid. And this uh, this substance, you know, it's normally perfectly safe. There's nothing wrong with it, and it just varies uh, from one food to the other in terms of how much there is. But if you have tinnitus, and high levels of salicylic acid are very, very bad for you. Uh, they will aggravate your condition and make it uh, make the intensity much higher than it needs to be. So um, that's a, a big area of your diet that you can look into in terms of cofactors. Another area is your lifestyle. For example, did you know that uh, toothpaste for sensitive teeth uh, contains potassium, which can aggravate your tinnitus? So if you have tinnitus, you should definitely not be using this toothpaste because it's likely to be making your condition worse. Uh, there are other factors, other environmental, other diet, other lifestyle factors too. Uh, you can also take uh, some supplements uh, which are good for your tinnitus. I don't mean these kind of weird... Uh, that you may have seen tinnitus supplements that are you know that have 10 15 ingredients that are supposedly all going to help you you know with your tinnitus uh, personally i don't think those kind of concoctions actually help but what you can do is you can take regular supplements that will help you for example many tinnitus sufferers are deficient in zinc and many others have taken zinc as a supplement to see if it gives them any relief and in many cases, it has given them relief. So, you know, there are many other things that you can do, and you don't need to buy expensive concoctions. So, uh, those are a few ways that you can cope with your tinnitus, but that's really only just scratching the surface. Um, listen, for best results, if you want to get relief from your tinnitus, if you want to get a decrease in the intensity of your, of your symptoms, so that it will make a pretty major difference to your quality of life, then please have a look at the uh, down below where the arrow is pointing. I put a, a website link, a URL. You can click on that that site, and it'll take you to uh, an amazing resource that has helped thousands of former tinnitus sufferers, and it's helped them to get the relief that I'm talking about in exactly the way that I've described. So I uh, I gave you a few hints and a few tips there, but if you go to this website, it has the full Monty, uh, the full plan that you need to follow to get this relief from your tinnitus. Uh, you'll find it invaluable, especially if you've been looking around lots of different places and haven't found anything that works for you yet. Um, I'm pretty confident that this will work for you, so please check it out. I'll see you soon in another video. Take care.